More than 12 hours after it was reported, fires were still burning at the former tool building at the Rocks Estate. This is the building that we've invested a lot of money in and a lot of time in. And now it's gone. This video showing what firefighters were dealing with when they got the call around 6 o'clock Wednesday night. There was an apartment in the building. The employee was home making it out safely and no one was hurt. But the building had more than just an apartment. The Society for the Protection of New Hampshire Forest has owned the property since 1979. And it's where all of our volunteers come, all of our main programs are set. And records stored, although those records are backed up. The building was built back in 1906 as part of the Glessner estate. It was where John Glessner, who was the founding father of International Harvester, first brought tractors um, from the Midwest, and those tractors were actually worked on the upland fields here for the first time. Manley says he's very grateful to the firefighters who managed to save his house, which sits just 30 feet away from the building. However, firefighters were unable to save another structure, which housed a seasonal gift shop. Like the tool building, the only thing left standing was a chimney. Now begins the process of figuring out what comes next, but the society says they will persevere. Suffice it to say, the Forest Society will still be uh, running a North Country Conservation Education Center here at the Rocks. As you take a live look at the scene, once again, you can see that chimney, about the only thing left standing in that former tool building. Now, the Christmas trees were not touched. They're on a side of another hill. As for people who had events scheduled here, they are being contacted to see what alternatives are available. Reporting live in Bethlehem, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.